any questions guys before jumping into the session any questions doubts no questions are we good can mug i have a question yes yes jay so so while uh, copying the ssms it's not uh, we are unable to paste in that uh, remote desktop so what can i do i told you one more option also if you can't copy directly you can download it from the server so if a server doesn't have network sorry okay 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 directly you can use internet explorer in the server you can download it okay thanks yeah any other questions guys what happened priyam kumar Uh, Shenmuk, actually, in server, I type the CM name from almost all, uh, 10, 10 to 20 minutes, it's going to loading only. What, I don't what, know where it was the problem. What you type? CMD, na? Prem, you are in mute. Just a CMD command. Okay. For, yeah. I search so, for CMD command. Have you have you tried From restarting the VM? Twenty minutes it's showing to load. That's okay. Just cancelling it. Have you tried restarting the VM? No way. Just try it once. Okay. How much RAM you allocated? Generally, don't take much time. Maybe it was hanged or something like that. Okay. Yes, I tried. Yeah, tried restarting. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I tried. Okay, fine. So you just typed CMD like this. Okay, no problem. Right? Don't search for it. Just type CMD in the run. Okay, in the run, just type CMD and just check it. If it is going to work. Mostly it will work. It should work. Right. Any other questions, guys? No, still it was loading only in server. I'm, I'm talking about server. I'm not sure what's happening, but um, uh, just try rebooting and how much RAM you allocated for that VM? RAM, how much RAM you allocated to the VM? Sreen Kumar, you're immediately going into mute. 3GB. 3GB allocated. What is your machine memory? 3GB. What is your RAM? What is your laptop memory? Shenmuk. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me, Prem? My laptop RAM is 16GB. Okay. I have 1TB hard disk. Okay. So in the run also, so it's giving the is same a... results. Sorry? i7 processor okay that's Everything fine yeah that's fine so just uh, try uh, rebooting the vm again guys people generally will do a mistake uh, don't directly close the vm okay so if you are closing the vm directly then you might face these kind of issues okay generally mm -hmm. once your work is completed shut down the vm like in our practice not in the organization in our practice, like once your work is completed, always shut down the VM. Okay, so if you directly close it, like if you just click on that disconnect button and if you power off it, it will be like corrupted. Sometimes there is a chance that your VM will be corrupted. So don't do that. Okay, so that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. And Prem Kumar, not okay. sure. Maybe you have to use run. Still, if run is also not working, maybe there is an issue with your OS. Okay, just keep loading it. I mean to say, just try rebooting for two to three times and reboot your laptop also. Mm -hmm. Reboot your laptop also. Just try okay. it after that. If it's still not working, create one more VM. Uh, no one faced this okay. kind of issue earlier. 
i am sure that you selected proper windows server mm -hmm. operating system so right so you have to select a fourth mm -hmm. option windows desktop experience you have to select the fourth option so if you selected that fourth option mostly yes. it should work maybe something if it was yes. corrupted and all you might face these kind of issues other than cmd any other tools okay. are opening or only you are facing issue with cmd Um, have you tried uh, when I'm trying to shock uh, like control R also is not working control R for what control R for what okay. yeah run command windows plus R okay windows plus R try it now yeah yeah okay right it's working now Okay, fine. Oh, right. Any other questions, guys? Any questions, doubts before jumping into the session? No, Shen, we are good. Okay, fine. Fine, okay. So let's continue the discussion, guys. In the morning, we discussed about the SQL Server installation, SSMS installation, and we started discussing about the SSMS. So once you install the SSMS, how to open SSMS, guys? It just you can click on the Windows button and then you can type SSMS earlier, before 2019. Generally, in the run, if you type SSMS earlier, it is going to work. the latest versions of windows machines are not taking that ssms shortcut generally to open ssms in the run we can just type ssms but uh, the latest versions of operating systems are not supporting that shortcut so either you have to click on windows button and you can just click on microsoft server tools and you can open like this okay or the shortcut is click on this and just type studio or ssm so like that if you type then you are able to see that management studio and you can open this guys okay So all the management studio is open, right? So let it be. Slowly we'll discuss all the things and all. So now in this session we'll discuss what and all folders that gets created when you install SQL Server, what and all services that gets created when you install SQL Server, what each service will do, what are the different types of services we have. okay so all these things will be covered in this session based on the time we'll see we'll try to jump into another topic so first let's discuss about the services guys so where we can see the services of the windows machine what is the shortcut to see all the services services dot msc right in the run we have to type services dot msc it will help you to show all the services of windows machine in the windows server what and all softwares built in softwares and like we have installed some other softwares like dot net framework sql server so whenever you install any software the software will run as a service in the back end so when you install sql server also few services will be created when you install the sql server so how many services will be created generally how to check the service when you open services.msc generally the services will be in uh, not in order like alphabetical order you, you can see now here it was just started with w then d then h u so just click on the name once it will come in an alphabetical order then select any service and hit yes so you can see all the services that will starts with yes don't like scroll up scroll down it doesn't looks good okay when you are sharing the screen when you are doing that scroll up scroll down doesn't looks good select any service just put it in the alphabetical order and select any service uh, like select that particular select any service first and type yes so automatically you can see all the services that are starting with yes you can see on your screen right and then you can see here sql server services okay sql server services you can see here so around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 services are there so let's discuss how many services that gets created when you install the sql server okay generally when we install 
SQL Server. Very important, guys. Sometimes if the server is not running, if you are not able to connect to SQL Server, okay, if you want to restart the SQL Server, so generally we'll use services.msc only. And if you want to change the service account and all, we'll, we'll use this only. So when we install SQL Server for the first time, okay, first time, generally six services will be created, guys. Six services will be created when you install SQL Server for the first time. Six services will be created, okay? So what and all those six services, guys? Okay, what and all those six services? So you can see here, main services, database, engine service, okay, engine service, SQL Server, database, engine service, of course, prefixed with SQL Server. SQL Server, database, engine service, and SQL Server, full text service, and SQL Server, agent service, okay? So, like, again, I'll give a space here. Then, we'll also get SQL Server, CEIP service, okay? And we'll get SQL Server, browser service, browser service, and then finally, SQL Server, VSS writer service. Okay, VSS writer service, we are going to get it. Out of these six services we have two types of services guys specific services shared services specific services shared services okay so out of six services four services are specific services and two services are shared services shared means what what is the meaning of shared when you install shared features how many copies you can see guys when we install SQL Server, um, right, while installing, we'll select the shared features, right? Right, so for machine, how many shared features we can see? We can install for Windows 40, machine. 40. For Windows 40. machine, how many shared features we can install per Windows machine, Zameer? One time only. One time only. Shared means, I gave you the example yes. also, PZ example. So when you're into the PZ, yes, you'll have your specific things. You will have the PZ will also provide shared things like TV, refrigerator, Wi-Fi. These are all the shared things that you will get only one copy. So here also, when you install SQL Server for the first time, you will get six services. Okay, you will get six services, SQL Server database engine. Out of six, four are specific services and two are shared services, guys. That means, that means what? These two services will exist only once per Windows machine. These two shared services will exist only once per Windows machine. So, these services are called instance aware services, instance unaware services instance aware and instance unaware services instance aware means the specific services are called instance aware there is another name also for specific services that will be instance aware services okay and for this there is another name instance unaware services so specific services will be like Four specific services you will get it with a single copy of SQL Server. Two shared services you will get it for whole Windows machine. So now tell me, guys, these services only two per Windows machine. So when you install SQL Server for the first time, total six services will you will get it. When you install SQL Server, second copy of SQL Server when you are installing, how many extra services you will get it, guys? For the, first time, for the first time, you'll four. get six. Out of six, six, four specific, two shared. Next time when you install second copy, how many extra services you will get it? 
four four extra humans four extra four. services you will get it very good very good so shanmukh how to identify which one is instance specific and which one is shared services how to identify very easy if you see the name if you see the name beside the service that is called specific service guys why because see, for example uh, when you are in the pg to make sure the plates are not going to be like merged with others you are going to mark it either with uh, some color or some name on the plates glasses you will have a name right so if you have your name that is a specific so in the brackets it will show you the name if you see the name so that is a specific service for shared services on the wifi you don't find any name on the tv you don't find any name on the refrigerator you don't find any name so if you if there is no name to the service that is your shared service guys is it clear yeah shan yes yeah, shan okay okay one minute huh? right okay sai so you can see here see i just installed two instances okay this is the main service remember this is the main service sql server i told you right database engine service this is the database engine service so this is the database engine main service for default instance database engine main service for batch 56 instance full text service for default instance full text service for batch 56 agent service for default instance agent service for batch 56 okay right yeah sql server this one agent service for default instance agent service for batch 56 and ceip ceip service for batch 56 ceip service for default instance if you see ms sql server guys if you see ms sql server that belongs to which instance guys that belongs to which instance Default. default default again for named instance default. you can see name of the instance in the brackets for default instance it will show you ms sql server okay for default instance it will show you ms sql server the services will be created with the name of ms sql server even the folders also will be created with the name of ms sql server guys you remember when you see ms sql server folders or services those services belongs to default instance clear guys everyone so database engine service is the main service as you know that is going to do the data processing storing retrieving the data full text will help you to search the data agent will help you for the automation so in the sql server will do lot of maintenance activities like backups some maintenance jobs like index rebuilding index reorganizing update statistics these are all the maintenance activities slowly you'll get to know what is index rebuild index reorganize when we will do that what is update statistics what is dbc check db slowly we'll discuss don't worry so the maintenance jobs daily it has to run so if it has to run daily and if you are having 100 servers 1000 servers we cannot log into each server and we cannot run the maintenance jobs on a daily basis so we will automate some things like backups and all so agent service is responsible for the automation okay agent service is responsible for the automation and the ceip service is responsible for the customer experience improvement program ceip is responsible for customer experience improvement program like it will try to like collect the logs and all and it will try to give it to like microsoft in case if there is a communication so that is the use of the ceip service apart from these four specific services we will have browser service browser service generally will help you to make sure the server is visible in the network browser service will help you to make sure the server is visible in the network but why this was disabled guys security wise we don't enable browser services why because there is a chance that if this browser service is enabled in the network everyone can see the server name so security wise it's not good option to enable the browser service so generally browser service will be in stopped state if you go to the real time servers also browser service will be in stopped state you see here all the services are running but browser is not running okay if it is running you can see running 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 here 
but browser is not running okay so for security reasons to make sure the server name is not visible in the network generally by default when you while installing itself sql server itself is suggesting you to keep the service in disabled state so if you want to start it you cannot start you don't see any start option for this so why why because it is disabled state if you enable it just go to properties and if you enable it automatic and all then if you click apply then you can start it so this is the use of the browser service vss writer is a writer service which helps to write the data to the disks and all so these are the main functionalities of each service in the sql server guys so now when you install five copies of instances type your answers in the chat type your answers in the chat if you install five sql server copies or instances in a machine total how many services you can see guys total how many sql services don't tell don't tell your answer just type your answers in the chat how many sql services you can see Yes, guys, waiting for your answers. That's it. Okay. Okay. So, okay, guys. J twenty two, Mahesh thirty, Madhuramesh twenty two, Bagya twenty two, Zamir twenty, self to share. Okay. Sanjay twenty two, Ashutosh thirty for the first time, twenty for the second time. So, Ashutosh, you understood the concept in a wrong way. I'll tell you. Don't worry. Total twenty two, Jamir Padma twenty two, Al Sifa twenty two, again Ashtosh twenty for the second time, Prem twenty two, Nizu ten, so Tabang twenty two, Ruth twenty two, Prabhakar twenty two, Al Sifa twenty aware and two unaware. Okay, so most of you said correct answer, guys. Okay, and except two three people, Nizu, Ashtosh, and initially. Uh, initially thirty thirty Mahesh, okay. So Mahesh said thirty and Nizu ten and Ashutosh again for the first time for the second time. Ashutosh, I just want to clear you one thing. Five SQL servers means when you install first SQL server, you will get six services. For every instance, four services will be added. Five for the first time, five for the second time. No, that is not the correct okay way to think. Are are you getting the point, Ashutosh? So we will yes, sir, install yes, only one SQL Server for the first time. So whenever you are installing second copy, that is the second and third, fourth, fifth, like that, it is going to be followed. So for the first time, when you install five instances, you will get thirty. Second time, when you install five instances, you will get twenty. That is not the one. Out of five instances, when you install first instance, you will get six. Remaining all other installations, the second installation, four will be added. Six plus four. Third installation, four more will be added. Six plus four plus four, like that. Four, 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 four services will be added for the first time. For the first instance, you will get six. Clear, Ashutosh? Oh yes, sir. I understand. Right, and uh, Mahesh, is it clear now? There is very simple yeah. formula. Nizu, Nizu, is it clear? And very simple formula, guys. For right. that, there is a formula. There is. It's not a great formula. You don't see anywhere in the internet and all. Four n plus two. 
n means number of instances okay n means number of instances so how many services you will get it when you install 15 sql servers guys just you can use this formula 15 sql servers 15 sql servers quickly you can tell easy very easy 62. n means the number of instances yes 4 into 15 60 plus 2 62 that's it so 21 how many services you will get it guys 4 into 21 84 plus 2 86 like that you have to calculate guys 4 and plus 2 that plus 2 is your shared services guys is it clear everyone so services are very very important so the services should be up and running guys the services should be up and running okay then only you are able to connect to sql server for example this is the default instance okay so now imagine we are already connected to default instance right using computer name so now let me use again connect button this time what i'll do i'll just give dot guys instead of computer name i'll give dot so is it going to work guys yes it should work okay okay just click connect now again click on connect button and this time I am going to give local host. I am able to connect. And again click on connect button. This time I will give local. Okay. So local it will not allow you. You have to keep in brackets like this. Close brackets. See I just installed only one instance guys. But you can see here this is one instance this is another instance this is the third instance this is the fourth instance i just installed only one uh, two instances right why i can see four instances here guys any idea right each one is one one instance guys this is one instance this is another instance this is another instance this is another instance so i just installed two instances max but why i can see four instances in the ssms they all are uh, default very good very good so everyone will have names right different names like in your home you will have a another name legal name is different and uh, right your friends will call you with a different name like that everyone will have three four names correct guys in the same way so all are representing default instance only dot is another name of computer name guys instead of giving complete computer name you can simply give dot dot means in the windows language dot is nothing but it's a computer name instead of giving the whole computer name you can simply give dot it don't work with other uh this one commas full stops i mean to say semicolons and all only dot it will take dot is nothing but okay dot is nothing but it's a computer name in the windows language it's a computer name so don't think there are four instances no these are the four names of default instance these are the four names of default instance my legal name is different as a trainer my name is different in my home they will call me with a different name my Friends will call me with a different name. I am only having four names. Of course, everyone will have the same like this. Four names, three names like that. So those are all the names of the default instance. Why? Because sometimes when you are into the organization, your colleagues and all will use these things to connect to the server. You cannot go and ask, hey, where is the server name? I don't see server name here. How you connected? No, this is very basic. You cannot ask them dot is nothing but computer name local host is nothing but computer name local is nothing but computer name like that two other ways are there so this is your first assignment check how many ways we can connect to default instance these are the four ways right computer name dot local host local other than this two more ways are there okay so by the next class you have to check in how many ways we can connect to a default instance what are the other names it will allow you to, it will allow you to connect to the default instance guys okay now i can disconnect each instance okay disconnect disconnect and disconnect disconnect is nothing but you are simply disconnecting from the sql server you are not stopping the sql server you are not 
shutting down the SQL Server. You are not killing the process of the SQL Server. You are simply coming out from the SQL Server. That is called disconnect button. And this is your refresh button. Very important button. This is whenever you do anything, anything, creating a database, creating a table, creating a login, giving the permissions, creating any new objects. Always select the server, refresh it, refresh it, refresh it. If you don't refresh, you don't see it. If you don't refresh, you don't see it. One day one student called me and like in the class, the class is over and then like I just explained everything and then he just created the table. And he is saying, Shanmuk, I created the table, but I can't see the table. Immediately the first question generally what I'll ask, hey, have you refreshed that server? He said, ah, yeah, yeah, I refreshed. So what he refreshed of one database, he just refreshed another database and he thought that he just refreshed everything. And I just believed him. And then just start troubleshooting. Later, just in the trial and error method, I just refresh the instance, I can see the table. These kind of things will happen in the organization also. Whenever you do anything on the server, select the whole server name and refresh it. Always make a habit of this. Always make a habit of this. Otherwise, when you create any new objects and all, sometimes you don't see it. So when you refresh, then only you can see it. Okay, clear guys, everyone. So from that point onwards, not like that, like that we'll get a lot of things. Then generally, I don't believe in case even though you're saying Shanmukh, I restarted. No, in front of me, again, you have to restart. So anything like that. So even though they are saying, yes, I did. Maybe you might think that you did it, but that is different. So that's why if anyone is troubleshooting, I'll ask you or I'll do the same thing. Even I'll, I'll also repeat the same troubleshooting steps. I don't believe whether he did or not, or maybe he did in another way. We don't know, right? So again, I'll start troubleshooting from the beginning, guys. So this is very, 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 very important. Okay. So these are the ways. Using these four ways, we can connect to default instance. Named instance, how to connect to named instance, guys? Same database engine. The server name, what is the server name? What is the server name, guys? Batch 56. Batch 56. Batch 56 right can i connect no no we have to give the uh, what is it computer name slash mm. named okay i told you right in the morning the morning we discussed it right so if it is a named instance the named instance name will be computer name backslash your instance name so if i'm trying to connect it will throw the error so what kind of error we will get it let's see Right, you can see the you can see the error, right? So a network related instance specific error occurred. Remember one thing, guys. Remember one thing. As a DBA, you should have three main qualities. What are those three main qualities, guys? To read the error. Mm. Then Next. You should have patience to read the error. Oh, very good. Okay. So the first one is patience. Second one is patience. Third one is also patience. Not only SQL Server, guys. Any software. Always, when you see any error, try to read the error completely. Generally, we don't have that much of... Okay. Patience. will simply try to copy paste this into the and we'll Google it and we'll say search it. No. If you go through this error, it is giving some suggestions also how to troubleshoot this error. Okay. So always whatever error it is, how many lines of error, 
generally try to read it completely try to read it completely so that you will get some hints in the error itself guys in the error description itself you will get some hints okay see here cannot connect to batch 56 okay chalo that i know additional information a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to sql server the server was not found or was not accessible verify that the instance name is correct and that sql server is configured to allow remote connections okay so see here it gave three troubleshooting steps the server name was not found or was not accessible this error generally you will get in multiple scenarios if the server name is wrong you will get the same error first one first scenario second scenario if the sql services are down if the sql services are not up and running then also you will get the same error second scenario third scenario if the remote connections are not allowed i'll show you way to enable the remote connections and all then also you will get the same error guys so in three main scenarios you will get this error one is if the instance name is wrong the server was not found or was not accessible verify that the instance name is correct and the server is configured to allow remote connections the second one is sql server is up and running or not can you see now can you see? guys this is the main service for default instance or for named instance this is the main ser main service so it is up and running right if it is up and running we should be able to connect if you have enough permissions okay so if you see here in three scenarios you will get it one is if the server name is wrong second one is if the sql server is not up and running third one is if it is not allowed for the remote connections in all these scenarios you will get this error so if the server name is wrong you know how to correct it if the SQL services are down, I will show you how to start it, how to stop the services. Okay. Allow remote connections and all going forward, I will show you in the server configuration. So you can just go to browse for me and database engine and select the instance name or you can manually give the instance name also. If you are giving manually, like you have to little, you need a little concentration, like the name is big. Okay. Computer name backslash batch 56. Okay. Now click on trust server certificate and click connect guys in this way you can connect to a named instance but if you see any difference you can see guys between default and named instance can you see any difference any difference can you see no only instance name is different databases databases security security server object server object replication replication polybase always on management integration sequence are agent same default and named both are same what is the other way to connect to named instance other name guess it just now we connected with multiple names right in local that host. Uh, next local host uh, local host Not. local Not. host next Slash, uh, band 56. No. okay let's try let's try yeah next like that try guys dot dot shortcut dot, dot, dot backslash dot, 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 yes i'm able to let's try with the local okay local in bracket local yes i'm able to so the computer names whatever is there the computer name you can represent with dot or local or local host right so the same thing you can replace also right so in this way, we can connect to instances, guys. These are the ways that we can connect to instances. Sometimes, as discussed, we will get the errors also while connecting to the servers. So general errors will be, I told you, right, one error. Okay, just now we, we just discussed one error, instance-specific related error and all. I'm just adding one name here, one extra character here. And you can see, you will get that error, a connection, connection like um, connection-related errors, you will get it, either name or either name not found or it was not accessible for the remote connections or the services are not up and running this kind of error you will get it one error you will get it that is one connection related error you will get it sometimes you will also get login failure errors while connecting to the sql server you will also get login failure errors means sql server is up and running but you are not an authorized person to connect to sql server in that scenario you will get that login failure errors that I'll show you in the security. When we will get login failure errors, what is the error number, 
how to troubleshoot that. So all these things will be discussed. So if the sequels are, say for example, now it was connected, right? Disconnect, disconnect. I am again connecting to the default instance. Connect. So now I am, when I connected to the default instance, now I am able to connect, guys. Okay. So now what I will do, I am going to stop the default instance service. This is the main service, guys. If this was stopped, you cannot connect to SQL Server. Wanted to show you I am stopping. Okay, so you should know right how to start and how to troubleshoot it. So just wanted I am stopping the SQL Server service. Now, this is the default instance, right? This is the default instance. Now, if you refresh it, you will get the error. Why? Refresh is also one command. Where it will run? It will run on the SQL Server. Is SQL Server is up and running to run the commands? No. SQL Server is currently in stopped state. So when you are trying to refresh, it will try to run one command. If the SQL Server is up and running, it will run the command to refresh. If the SQL Server is not up and running, then immediately you will get the error, guys, now. Let's see what kind of error we will get it. See? Very big error. The connection was broken and recovery is not possible. That is saying, the server is in stopped state, but you are trying refreshing the server. You are trying running some queries on the server. So that's why it is not going to, all connections will be closed. Guys, if the SQL server is up and running, when you are trying to run some commands, it will give connections. It will give you a session. We can, multiple people can connect to a SQL server at a time. I'll tell you how many maximum users can connect to SQL server at a time. But when each person is running some queries or you are getting any queries from the application side, every query will run in one session. So if the server is up and running, it can allocate one session for you to run the query. Now the server is in stopped state, right? So it can't allocate any sessions for you. That's what it is getting. The connection is broken. So what is the solution, guys? So now if you disconnect and now when you are trying to connect again with the same name, you will get that error, first error. Cannot connect to SQL Server. Verify that the instance name is correct or the server is accessible. Okay, so that kind of error, you will get it, guys. Let's see. So let's troubleshoot once. Why? Because very regularly in the practice also, you will get this error. And uh, we are using unlicensed version of Windows Server. SQL Server is developer edition only. But Windows Server is not a licensed version. So generally, SQL services will be stopped generally on a regular basis in your local app. I mean to say in your Windows server, not in the organization. So now you are getting that error, right? So how to troubleshoot that error? Simply go to services.msc, check which server you are connecting, check the database engine is up and running. Only database engine is main, guys. Only the database engine service is main. If agent is down, if full text is down, no, you don't get connection issues. If this SQL server is not running, then only you will get that error. Okay, I'm just starting the service again. Right, now it is running, guys. Okay, so agent is a, you can see here, SQL server agent also, if you want to see, it is in stopped state. But I can connect to SQL server, no issues. Earlier we got the error, right? I can connect to SQL server, but agent will be in red color. See, agent XP is disabled. Agent is not running. So if agent is, if you see like this kind of thing in your SSMS, you can simply go to services.msc and you can just simply start the service agent service and the agent service will be started and then just refresh it guys to take effect. See, now it is running guys. Guys, if you see this play button, what is this play button called guys? Can anyone tell me? What is this play button called? Please Service. Uh, service. Yeah, you're almost closer to the answer. Service is running. If this will tell you the state of the service, whether running or stopped or paused. So what is this called? Service. Service runner. Service, service. runner. Service runner. Huh? Service winner. Thing. Service All service are running. Service watcher. I'm running. Service watcher. W A T C H E R. Service watcher. So if you stop the service, 
for example, if you stop the service, how you can see, I'll show you. Okay, I'm stopping. I can start, stop, and restart the services from SSMS also. I can stop, start, and restart the services from SSMS also. Earlier, the SQL Server is up and running, right? So you can see green play button. Play button means it is up and running. Now, if you see here, within a, within a second, it is going to be updated. So you can see red stop button, you will get it, guys, here. Red stop button, you will get it here. It is not updating, but generally, you can see red stop button. You can see here, maybe, I cannot refresh. If I refresh again, you will get the error. So here, it will show you a red stop button. So if you see red stop button means the SQL Server is in stopped state, guys. Okay. Let me check whether we have any option to refresh. If I select refresh. Yeah, you can see here, guys, now. So if you can see like this, if you can see like this, the SQL Server is in stopped state, guys. Is it clear, everyone? So right click, you can start the service again. Right click and you can start the service from SSMS also, from services.mms also. There is no difference, guys. From SSMS, you can start the services. From services.mms also, you can start the service. But from SSMS, when you can do that? When you can do that? If, if you already so connected, connected, then only you can. Yes. When you connected, then only you can do that. But if you are not connected and you are not able to connect, then always you have to do from the services.msc only guys are we good now about services so right click start stop pause if you pause it so let me show you how it will be just two buttons you can see here okay like pause button you can see right in the media player you can see two lines okay like that you can see here guys see now the color is changed to pause so here you can see three play button stop button pause button Okay, guys, and right click, you can resume it again. Okay, you can right, resume it again using this resume button. So this is how the services will work. And this is how you have to start the service. And this is how you have to stop the service and pause and restart the services, guys. Everyone, is it clear? So, uh, so um, sometimes in um, in a work environment, the, if the users cannot access or they have an error, from the end, the first thing they do, they, they send um, they ask the DBS to check the database. So the first thing I had to do is to make sure the database is up, right? The watcher is green and see, the agent are... See, services, you can check whether they are up and running or not. Database, if database is online, database is up and running means database should be online. Okay, if the database is online, generally you can see like this. These are the databases that are online. But if the database is not online, there might be different states offline, recovery pending, restoring, in recovery, suspect state. These are all the different, different states. So if anyone is asking to check whether the database is online or not, whether the database is up and running or not, you have to simply go to the SQL Server, expand the data, not system databases. As of now, we have only system databases, right? Expand the database section, check the database here, try to expand the database. If the database is healthy, it is online. It can be expanded. If there is an issue with the database, you will get the error immediately. Or the state will be updated in the brackets here. Okay. If it is offline in the brackets, you can see offline. If it is recovery pending, beside this name, you can see recovery pending, in restoring, in recovery, suspect state, single user, emergency, these kind of states you can see beside the database names. Thank you. Yeah. Questions, guys? Questions, doubts? Tenmuka, I encountered a same problem like network related during the installation itself. So, how to troubleshoot that? Why you will get network related error during the installation, Jay? Uh, showing that uh, the remote uh, connections is not uh... no i'm not getting I... just send me the screenshot while during the installation see when you are connecting then you are get, you are going to get this so during the installation you are trying to connect or what okay 
just send me the screenshot then i'll get an idea fine so now these are the services that gets created and this is how we have to manage the services guys and one more thing don't try practicing the things during the class no zamir i am going to okay take for 30 minutes zamir demo i have sent you the screenshot yeah, okay first thing is first don't practice during the class no okay. it's it's in the what is it afternoon i tried the thing okay then okay that's fine no issues but uh, again for others i'm saying don't practice during the class and zamir one more thing okay so i'll decide when i have to take when i have to give the break and all please okay right so now let me check this So, one minute, guys. Microsoft support installation in progress twenty nineteen. Okay, network related specific connection. Uh, the server is not found, not accessible. Verify that the instance. So when it is installing, automatically you got the error, or you are trying to do anything during the installation? No, during the installation itself. During the installation itself, have you tried rebooting the VM before installation? Yeah, I deleted two three VMs and again did the same thing, but it's not work. So is it a newly created VM or you just installing on the existing VM? Newly created, sir. So newly created VM, you are getting the error. Verify that the instance name is correct. The same error you are getting. So uh, yeah. after clicking on retry, what you are getting? Uh, yeah, so uh, not able to the same one. Uh, after the installation, it's not showing the three database engine service three. No, no. Uh, what after clicking it? on retry, generally it should uh, be it's, it completed. Uh, the installation is completed, but the uh, what you say. Specific features, it's not. Uh, it's showing the uh, into mark. So okay, at the end you can see the specific features into cross mark, red cross mark. Ah uh, yes, yes, right. Uh, the shared txt file. Yeah, but it's not understanding what. That's what you have to check it. Why? Because that generally see this is the first time during installation. I I'm able to I I can see that error, but generally while connecting only you'll get that error. So as you are getting the installation errors, there are there might be some er other errors you will get it during installation. But a connection specific related errors why you are not getting I don't know. But still, the troubleshooting is first check the summary.txt file and check it or send it to me. I will check summary.txt file detail.txt file. Send it to me. I will check it. Okay. So I told you right three places you have to check if the installation is failing. Summary.txt, detail.txt, event viewer. So based on the three three places, the errors that are logged into these places, based on that we can troubleshoot that. Okay, right, fine guys. So now let's discuss about the folders that gets created when you install the SQL Server. Okay, folders that get these two are very important. One is services that gets created when you install the SQL Server. Second one is folders that gets created when you install the SQL Server. So when you install the SQL Server, if you go to C drive, program files, whenever you are installing any software, generally a new folder will be created with the name of the software in the C drive. So as you installed SQL Server, a new folder is created, okay, in the C drive, which is Microsoft SQL Server. So here up to this path up to this path we'll call it as instance base directory okay instance base directory okay you have to use a professional language when manager is asking or when lead is asking hey can you please send me base directory path so up to here see program files microsoft sql server up to this we'll call it as instance base directory 
So now in the instance based directory, you can see few folders with the names. Earlier, if you remember, when we are discussing SQL Server versions, SQL Server 2005, 9.0, 90, 2008, 10.0, 100, 2008, R2, 10.50, 100, 2012, 11.0, 110. So what are those 110, 80, 90, 110, 120, 130? 10.0, 11.0, you know that, yeah. 10.0, 11.0, 13.0, 14.0, you know that. Those are the bill numbers. But 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, those are all the compatible. Binary. Compatible, yeah. Technically, we'll call it as a binary. So, if, if you install SQL Server 2019, 15.0 is the bill number, and the folder that gets created is 150 folder. This is called, if you go inside this path, this is called instance binary. Instance binaries okay the path if you go inside the numbering folder that is called instance binaries and we have one more path called instance root directory okay if you go inside this this is called instance root directory so instance root directory so without connecting to SQL Server, how to check how many instances installed in this machine? What and all versions installed in this machine, guys? Without connecting to SSMS, how to check how many instances installed? What versions installed in this machine? How to check? We can check from yeah, yeah, we can check here itself. If you go to C program files, Microsoft SQL Server, See here, MSSQL 15.56. It will create instance root directory for every installation. Initially, I just installed SQL Server default instance. So it's created MSSQL 15. 15 means you know that 2019. MSSQL Server, which is default instance. So default instance files, everything will be stored in this folder, guys. If you go inside, you can see the files of default instance. These are the system databases files, data file, log file and all. So like this for named instance, if you go inside this named instance folder, you can see again named instance also will have folders data and all right. These are the named instance system database data files and log files. I'll tell you what is data file, what is log file, don't worry. Okay, so will be discussed guys. So up to here you have to remember guys. So what is that? Instance binaries, the numbering folders are instance binaries. And these are called instance root directory. And a folder will be created. If you remember during the installation, while giving the instance name, in the below section of instance name, you can see one option called instance ID. So someone asked, Shanmuk, what is this instance ID? I told you, right? So when you are giving instance name, Automatically with the same name instance ID also will be created. Instance ID, why it will create? To create the folders in the respect to instance base directories. Is it clear guys now? So without connecting to SSMS itself, if you just go to C program files Microsoft SQL Server, we can see how many instances installed, what and all versions installed, what are the names of the instances also? Everything we can see in this section itself, in the instance based directory section itself. Are we good, guys? Questions, doubts? Shandak, what is client SDK? Client SDK are supported files. Okay, so when you install SQL Server, it will install some setup files, right? So the client SDK, software development kit, will have the supported files. Okay. Hello. Yeah, Shambuk, Jimmy. Uh, as you told, 150, 110, 90, 180, these are the instance binaries. Uh, all are instance binaries or one, means why they given 150, one number, 110, 90, 80? Can you see, Jimmy, one more time? 150 means for 15.0, 150. For 11.0, 110. One, uh, for this one, what is that? For 2012, 110. 
so these are this is how they designed so why they designed like this shanmuk means you don't find anywhere microsoft has to answer okay so that is how they designed that is their architecture of designing the software so why 150 shanmuk they designed like that so that's how they designed maybe uh, uh, any engineer of microsoft who worked for a, a software like sql server new sql server versions and all maybe they can tell why it was 150 why they gave 130 140 and all okay so these numbers will help you to identify the version like versions of the sql server which version it is which compatibility level it belongs to okay any questions doubts guys uh, one more doubt yes yes please okay. yeah i was just opening the first day second day you given one versions like Correct. platform mm. and 7.0 and 70 mm. 7.0 is what is mean by seven, means 7.0 8.0 what is that one and 70 mm. what is that one 70 have you, have you attended the previous sessions Yes, yes, I attended. So, what is bill number? Bill number, bill number means seven point zero, eight point zero. Hmm. Why it will be used? Why bill number will be used? What is the use of the bill number? Bill number uh, to find uh, SQL Server, for example, two thousand twenty-two. Very good, very good. To find to find the version of the SQL Server. The seven dot zero, eight dot zero, also bill numbers only. If you install seventy, okay. also bill number. That is also bill number. Seventy is not bill number. Seventy is the binary that will be created when you install okay, ninety-seven. Seventy will be created. Seventy folder will be created when you install two thousand five. Eighty folder will be created. Sorry, two thousand. Okay. When you install two thousand five, ninety mm -hmm. folder will be created. So that eighty, ninety, hundred, one ten, one twenty. These are the binaries that are the folders that will be created when you install that version of SQL Server. Eight dot zero, nine dot zero, ten dot zero, eleven dot zero. These are the bill numbers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, one more doubt I mm -hmm. have. For example, now we are now we installed two thousand twenty-two. Hmm. This one. Two thousand twenty-two means uh, plus seven uh, minus seven. It will support. Yes. Means a lower versions. It will support. In this case, it need to be have. From two thousand eight, na ten also older. Uh, why it is there only eighty, ninety, one ten, one fifty only? For... First of all, you have to compare with Windows Server versions. Why you are comparing with SQL Server versions? And where we installed the twenty twenty two? First of all, you tell me. If it is, if it we is... installed the twenty twenty two, what should be the folder or bill number? One minute. One minute. You are still checking number, the door. One six. That's what. Sixteen. You are still checking the bill number. You are still. You don't know the bill numbers and all. You are not able to remember that numbers, bill numbers. So one sixty, one sixty, and sixteen dot zero. Where you can see one sixty and sixteen dot zero here? No, I didn't see. Maybe this is two thousand nineteen. Yes, not maybe Jamir. Yeah, two thousand nineteen. Again. Yeah, two thousand nineteen only. Mm. Sorry. 2019. 2019. Yes, and why you are comparing to SQL 2019 with minus seven plus seven? You have to compare operating system with minus seven plus seven. That will help you what versions of SQL servers you can install in the Windows machine. So you are okay. comparing. You are only designing your own concept. So SQL 2019, right? 2019 minus seven, so which will be 2012, and plus seven, which will be 2026. So like that, you are. Doing. We don't do minus seven plus seven to SQL servers. We will do minus seven okay. plus seven to Windows servers. That will help you to identify what versions of SQL servers I can install on a Windows machine. So you are plugging. In this it. case, in two thousand nineteen, hmm. I can I can work for all. Uh, means I can create. Uh, that's only sorry. I was going deviating wrongly. No, I was perfect. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, guys. Okay, so any other questions, guys? Those are all the folders. Why? Because the folders are also very important. So if there is an issue with the default instance, you should know to which folder you have to go and check. If there is an issue with the batch fifty six named instance, you should know to which folder you have to go and check. So these are all the main folders. 
okay if it is default folder default instance related issue you will go to this you will go to this you will check the backup files are there or not so default instance backup files will go to this location whereas the named instance backup files will go to the named instance location okay so this is different and that is ms sql server is different you can see both places you can see backup folder both places you can see data folder so these data files you can see these data files belongs to batch 15 see here when i connect to batch 56 instance you can see system databases in the system databases you can see four system databases i'll tell you what each system database will do what master will do what model will do what msdb will do what mpdb will do i'll tell you so when you have any database in sql server how the files will be organized each database will have two files so if this is the default instance system databases this is the named instance system databases so the files that gets created for system databases that you can see here this is your named instance for a default instance if you go ms sql server again in that data folder will be there again you can see these are the files of default instance system databases and these are the files of named instances system databases i am not going to i don't want you to confuse guys here but you should understand where you have to check in case of errors if you want to see whether the files are existed or not where you want to check so this is one path this is another path you can see here this is ms sql server and ms sql and this is batch 56 sorry let me go to batch 56 ms sql and the data so this is batch 56 system databases these are the system database files and these are the default instance system database files these are the named instance system databases just to identify initially to get a basic idea this is how to how you will organize the things guys in the organization okay so now when you install sql server during the installation itself it will create the folders so that folders will have instance binaries and instance root directories also so if anyone is asking your manager is asking hey have you checked in the instance root directory or while troubleshooting please go and check instance root directory you should know right what is instance root directory so this is what instance root directory is okay clear guys any questions doubts yeah uh, shanmuk uh, can you open uh, instance binaries one time yeah yeah sure i guess it is already open let me check here yeah. yes yeah here it is having only four folders uh, 80 90 110 yeah. and 150 only four folders why it is there we can give to all bill numbers now like 70 80 90 100 110 120 when we will get these folders you tell me first your when we install is or... correct so remember one thing when you install sql server 2017 2019 2022 by default you will get 80 90 110 folders 80 90 110 folders so the supported features the main features are still existed in these folders so the microsoft still giving these three folders with other installations also means even though you install 2017 you will get 80 90 110 even though you install 2019 you'll get 80 90 110 even though you install 2022 also 80 90 110 you will get it the base features are these 80 90 110 created a lot of impact on the sql server like new features and all gets Introduce it from these main versions. 80 means 2000, 90 means 2005, 110 means 2012. So that's why the base features are still within this 80, 90 folder. So whenever you install any versions greater than 2012, by default, you will get it. You will get 80, 90, 110. You don't get 120. You don't get 130. You don't get 140. When you will get 120, if you install 2014, when you will get 130 if you install 2016. So have you installed 2014, 2016, 2017 here? 
2019. With this by default, you will get these three folders. That doesn't mean okay. Okay. 80 means we install SQL 2000. No. Why? Because this is Windows 2019. You cannot install 2000 here or 2005 in this machine. But the base features, these base features created a lot of impact in other versions. So that's why 80, 90, 110 folders are common for any installation. More than 110. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So, okay, guys. Uh, any questions you can ask me. I'm going to end the session early today. Okay, so I have to start one more topic, system databases. It will take time. So I don't want to break the session. Now after the break and all again, 15 minutes will be gone, like 45 minutes we'll have in our hand. So it will take one and a half hour. So I don't want to break the session. So we'll discuss the system databases in the next weekend, morning, Saturday morning, 7 a.m. I guess very important session. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we are good to close the session for now. Questions, doubts, and your assignment will be, okay, I'm just adding it to the, this one notes. I'm going to assignment, okay. Install SQL Server default and named instances okay install sql server default and named instances okay so there is no challenging task very simple straightforward task so going forward i'll i'll try to add some challenges so install sql server default and named instances okay of course you should know first how to create vm how to install os and then enabling remote connections then you can start installing SQL Server default and named instances. This is the assignment for the next week. So we'll connect the next weekend, Saturday morning, 7 a.m. IST, guys. Questions, doubts? Are we good? And book next Saturday is Dasera. So it's yes. Okay. Guys, you want holiday on Dasera? You tell me, guys. Based on the majority, we'll go for the decision. So, if you want session, just type yes in the chat, direct message to me. Don't hesitate. Or if you want to take a break, no problem. Dasara morning, if you want Saturday morning and evening, if you want a break, we'll connect only one day on Sunday morning and evening. So, you can just tell me your decision. Based on the majority of the decision, I'll take the decision, guys. Now itself, you tell me. Now itself, you just type yes or no in the direct message. Uh, to Saturday. Me. Saturday. Saturday evening is okay, but morning, yeah, actually, what? morning in time is there. See, for you, evening okay, for some others, morning okay. So that's why, guys, yeah, yeah, you yeah, to take way. class on Saturday or not. Yes or no, you tell me based on your decision. I'm going to like uh, tell why, whether we have class or, is there or not on Saturday. I need participation from everyone. Everyone has to tell, guys. And I'll take the decision based on the majority. Quickly, quickly, only four responses I got till now. If you want, you can send it to me directly, direct message to me in the Zoom. Sandhya. <laughs> Sandhya. Yes, yeah, uh, no, need full day holiday. Huh? <laughs> yes, <sir. Alsifa, so it's not like a casual holiday, Alsifa. It's a festival. Okay? So festival means 
like for example if christmas is there if i am not giving holiday if i am taking class we can understand how it will be so yes it's a festival and it's a big yeah, I was saying only because so because it's, because it's the biggest the big festival in yes. India. In India. <laughs> I would okay. say we should respect that, and we will need to have fun. So, I'm, yeah, I'm with with the people. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. And one, uh, one, one, two, three. Three, four, four, five, six, seven. Only eight people responded till now, guys. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, people are asking holiday. So yeah, Saturday it will be holiday, guys. Direct messages to me also. People are asking for holidays. Yes, thirty forty percent they need class on Saturday, but um, okay. So as it is a big festival, okay. So there is no class on holiday uh, Saturday, guys. And we'll connect on Sunday morning seven a.m. IST. Okay. Thank you all. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, you will get the record, guys. I gave you the access to the direct folder. so the classes will be uploaded and you will not get any update so keep checking that folder you can see the new class will be added okay fine guys that's it thanks thanks for attending the session and we'll connect on the next sunday morning 7 am ist for us people saturday night 9:30 pm est for us people saturday night for india sunday morning 7 am ist thank you guys thank you all bye take care good night good day thank you sir thank you Thank you. 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 Thank you.